What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Van Build. Today's episode is con- sponsored by Lay's Potato Chips, Sour Cream, and Onion. Okay, so the long awaited day of being able to set the rivet nuts in the van has come. This is a rivet nut. Um, it is a slightly, there are different sizes. This is a slightly long, elongated version. Basically what it is is a, a piece of metal which can be flattened so that um, it becomes shorter in length and part of the metal protrudes up, down, sideways um, and creates a seal or a grip on the sheet metal of the van. So the front part, this part right here, goes inside the van like this and then this is sticking out towards us facing us and the inside mushrooms and creates uh, a grip on the metal and then inside of this is a thread for you to be able to actually just screw like with a screwdriver a screw in um, this creates a much stronger bond than just drilling into the sheet metal because the contact surface for the screw is much much deeper um, as well as giving you an opportunity to reduce your drilling into the van, which is great, and create uh, the op- opportunity for taking everything apart if you have to without leaving a bunch of holes in the van that you can't uh, remedy. The only thing is it's time consuming, so each one of these has to be uh, hand screwed on like this, and then once you're in the wall, you pull them together, and that um, creates the mushroom effect, and then you do this at every single spot that you want one. So enjoy this time lapse of me doing it over a hundred times. Anybody else that got the quiet like me? Party time like 1999. I party by myself because I'm such a special guy. All right, so the way this works is you set your rivet nuts. So I've already set four in here. Take a rivet nut, screw it on like this onto this extra long mandible, I think it's called. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. If you get these, the plus nuts, excuse me, plus nuts. If you get these longer plus nuts and not the standard ones, you need the extra long mandible for setting them. Um, so, and then just squeeze, and then you gotta do it once more because until it gets hard to press. So about right there. Um, and then you just unscrew it, which takes forever. There you go. Once you have your plus nuts set where you want them, so imagine where you want things to be able to bolt down to, where you want main anchor points. Uh, in this case, I think I'm going to try to put boards up in this on this back door. So having pretty much uh, the most even spots. If I were to do down here, that's kind of not really in line with here, and here isn't in line with here. But here and here aren't bad. Here and here aren't bad. Here, here, etc. So I, I'm not using all the holes. I'm just using some of them. Then you take these. These double-sided uh, quarter twenty, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're. I'll put the link in the description. But the purpose is, you take the end that is screwable, and you screw them in to the plus nuts you just set. Because the next step is going to be putting uh, Easy Cool over these, and then as well, they're also used for once your Easy Cool is put over, which I'll show you in just a second then you need to know where to drill holes in your studs, in your furniture, and whatever you're mounting to these plus nuts. And the way you do that is press the wood, uh, the back of the wood that will be flush with the wall uh, against these, and it will create a small dent. If you have, you have to bang it kind of hard, but it'll create a small dent. And then you know exactly where you need to drill a hole, and it'll line up with these holes uh, for using these as mounting locations. Okay, so I put these in. Now I'm gonna get some easy cool. (laughs) 
once you've sprayed your 3M90 on the surface and on the on the surface of the van and then on the uh, side of the easy cool that's going to touch the van and waited 30 seconds because that's an essential part in order for the adhesive to be able to actually stick and adhere and hold it. Um, then what you're going to do is you simply start placing your easy cool at one end. So let's say I was starting on this end, I'd place it here. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I've already poked through one side. So then let's say I had gotten all the way over to this side. All I do is I can feel where there's a one of those double-sided sharp, sharp things I put into the um, bolt or into the plus nut. So I just push through and there we go. So then that's marking a place of a plus nut. So the easy cool will be in place, it won't move. There'll be a small hole here, which you can then bolt your boards to, your furniture, whatever you're trying to bolt. In this case, uh, I know that there's a speaker right here. So I'm gonna cut a hole uh, from right here, a line, and then try to cut a circle around that speaker. Great, so now I will take this off, spray both sides, uh, the surface of the van and then also the back surface of the easy cool, and then see if I can fit this on here to make it look nice. So now I've sprayed both sides, uh, and this is, <clears throat> it's gonna be really sticky. So it's best to start from one side that you know you can get attached, get held down, try to have it flush or, or excuse me, flat where you think it's gonna be going so it's not at an angle and then work your way across. So don't try to do the whole thing at once because you'll end up with crinkle, crinkles, kinkles? You'll end up with kinkles, you don't want kinkles. So then when I am ready to put up a, um, a stud, essentially, I get a piece of wood and let's say I want a piece of wood crosswise like this. I'll, I have these three uh, double-edged, double-edged, little bolt things in my uh, plus nuts still. And so basically, you just hold it up where you think you want it. So let's say I want it about right here. And then it's a little hard on the door because the door is swinging. But if this was a solid surface or if I had somebody else holding the other end, I would just bang this right where I want it against that, against the plus nut underneath it, bang it. And it would make a tiny little divot in the wood, which then I would drill out and then it would line up. If I did that at every single one, it would line up perfectly. I'd take my bolts and I'd go fishing for those plus nuts through those pre-drilled holes. And then once they grab, you'll feel them, you'll grab and they'll pull the wood right to it. And then you have a secure mounting location. So I could do this half inch or three quarter inch uh, plywood here and then do boards off of it. Probably not what I'm gonna do because I'm dealing with limited space specifically on the back door because it butts up against the uh, metal of the van. But that's just an idea because, or an example, because that's what I'm gonna be doing on the inside. Once you've, uh, once you've done the easy cool, uh, I normally, I only have eight of these double-sided, have these double-sided little quarter 20 things. So I will take my bolts and I'll replace them just so that I can still see where I'm dealing or what I'm dealing with as far as the amount of uh, plus nut locations, mounting locations I have, uh, where they are, etc. I'll take my bolt and I'll just stick it right in the plus nut. Uh, and as you can see in my van, they're all over the place. And there's bolts sticking out of everywhere because I wasn't sure where I wanted to mount. So I more or less filled every single possible hole, which I've been more great, more or less grateful for uh, so far. So there's a plus nut. Uh, it, it'll be ready when I want to put a piece of wood in there. I'll just take this back out and I'll put this in the double-sided pointy thing. And there you go. So that's using plus nuts in your van.